I just saw a bad little John. Exercising, baby, this a peel run. Cougar bitch, fucker, make her feel young. Got a nigga fuck. What's poppin', y'all? It's your girl, Team Stacy, and I'm back, baby. I said I'm back with another YouTube video. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And if you're a returning subscriber, what's up? Alrighty, y'all. So, y'all can see the energy is here. I'm super excited. Today, we're doing another makeup tutorial. Um, don't mind my hair. Y'all know we getting ready. We getting glammed up. Girl, let's talk about it. Are you tired of your makeup not lasting all day? Are you tired of beating your face and two hours, three hours, four hours go by and now your makeup looks natural? It looks like you have nothing on your face. I'm gonna show you how to make your makeup last all freaking day. I got you, okay? I was doing my research on YouTube and I stumbled upon a secret potion. I did talk about this on my channel one time, but we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna tell y'all that secret potion to make sure your makeup lasts all freaking day, girl. So let's go ahead and get right into the tutorial this makeup look is going to be for my oily skin girls and also girls that need their makeup to last all day so i did go ahead and wash my face so my face feels super dry even my lips feel dry so let me wash my lips as you guys know i like to go in with the noxema wipes this is the anti-blemish pads i really do like this this cleans your skin like no other so i just go ahead and i wipe my face Guys, like when I say these Noxzema pads, like they work like so good, but oh my edges, it it's just so strong to me. Like it literally, it's so strong. Like, oh my gosh, it smells like really strong. But besides that, really good. Let's go ahead and move on to moisturizing. I like to moisturize with my Milk's Makeup Moisturizer. This just works really good for me. Even if you have oily skin, you don't wanna like not moisturize because you feel like your skin is oily and it already has oils you don't want to do that your skin still needs moisture you are washing your face you're stripping your face of the natural oils and you want to bring that back you want to keep that skin moisturized because we are going to use an agent that's gonna you know kind of keep that away so you don't want your skin to be like suffering under you know we're gonna go in with the secret potion are you guys ready are y'all ready to see the secret potion? What y'all think it is? Y'all think it's Milk of Magnesia. Y'all think I have a new primer that I just stumbled upon? Or y'all just don't know? I want y'all to comment down below which one y'all think it is. Y'all think it's A, B, or C. What do y'all think I have in my hand right now? You th you just don't know? You, you, you want me to tell you? Let me tell you right now. This is what I have. I think it's pronounced Calamine Lotion. If you know how to pronounce it better, you can go ahead and fix my pronunciation down in the comments. But this is Cal Calamine Lotion. This right here is, I feel like personally, it's better than using Milk of Magnesia because Milk of Magnesia is actually for stomach aches. This is actually supposed to go on your skin. But anyways, um, we're gonna go ahead and use this today. So you don't even need that much. I have about this much on my hand right now. And I'm just going to work that into my skin. Now with Milk and Magnesia, you guys know it gets super white, but you don't really need that. You really wanna just kinda work this into the skin so it doesn't seep through the makeup. And especially if you are um, a lighter skin complexion, you want to work this into the skin because you don't want this to show through your makeup. So really, just smooth that into the skin. You're gonna feel it start drying. Now you can put this all over your face like I'm doing today, or you could really just use this in your problem area. So if you get oily on your forehead, if you get oily on your nose or around your mouth, wherever you get oily, it's okay for you to um, go ahead and just put that in that area. This is just gonna, you know, keep that oil under control so we're just going to work that into our skin so now you should look very pale very sickly but that is okay we're gonna let this dry y'all know i'm extra so after like probably 30 45 seconds you're gonna touch your skin and you're gonna see your skin feels very soft and you have a little bit of product on there so you're all good so let's go ahead and move on to the next step it's going to be applying your foundation obviously if you have oily skin or you need your makeup to last all day you really want to start using a soft matte kind of finish or mattifying finishes um, the reason why you want to do that is because hydrating foundation they're very moisturizing, they're very hydrating, and they come off very natural. So 
over hours it does dissipate and it kind of just looks like nothing which I love that look but sometimes you want that makeup to last all day so personally I like to use the I am magic foundation by Julia's place this is very full coverage and it has like this soft matte finish so I really really like that you guys can use whatever foundation you know you guys have but this personally is my favorite so I'm gonna take a decent amount this is how much I take like I said this is very full coverage so this is a good amount I'm gonna take my real techniques um, brush foundation brush this is in the 204 and I'm just going to go into it and start just putting some swatches on my face and you want to make sure that that Camel, I can't pronounce it, but what we just put on that face, you want to make sure it is dry. You don't want to mix, you know, your foundation into that. That's just not going to be ideal for you. So, so after that, please don't mind my lifting lace. I'm going to fix that. Uh, my lace is lifting right now, but bear with me, girl. So anyways, after you put that, I like to blend it out with a brush. And the reason why I like to do that is, I mentioned this in my videos previous to this, blending with a sponge makes your look more natural and it kind of like takes away some of the product whereas a brush is going to give you more of that full coverage, it's going to, you know, make you use all the foundation that you put on there or at least most of it. And that's what we're going for today, a very full coverage and mattifying look. All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and conceal the face. So you wanna use a mattifying and a, you know, full coverage concealer. Um, so I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Uh, Camo uh, Concealer, and this is a satin finish. So if you can find a matte one, that'd be great, but you can also go in with this. So as you guys can see, this is like way lighter than me. This is in color Fair Warm. So today I really want like this uh, highlighted kind of look. So I'm just gonna keep it right under my eye like that. And we're not gonna go too crazy. Like I'm not gonna make that triangle super big because you want the focus to be on your, you know, eye. Ooh, we look crazy right now. So I let it dry down for a minute. So before we blend under my eyes, you guys know, we're gonna work with this part first. We're gonna blend that out. I'm gonna go with my foundation brush and we're just going to blend this out. I really wanted a highlighting look today. So we're just gonna blend her out. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush that looks like this. It's just a blending brush, but it's just a little, it's a blending brush, but it's just a little bit smaller. And we're gonna blend the bridge of my nose just so it's easier to contour and that nose isn't too wide. So we're just going to pat, 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 pat. That's the most important thing about blending. You really just wanna pat, push it into your skin so it looks so natural versus sliding or smudging. You really wanna first start with patting and that's even with your shadows. You just really wanna push it in before you start any other motion. I'm gonna take that small brush and I'm just going to kind of diffuse the edges just a little bit because I feel like it's gonna be hard for me to get in with a big brush. Just a little bit, diffuse those edges. One really nice way to blend out your concealer is you want to take um, the your foundation brush and just blend out the edges of your concealer and that just helps it look more natural and blend into your makeup just a little bit better so like your under eye is very highlighted but at the same time it's it's diffused like really nice into your um your face foundation and i also take out the excess and put that on my eyelid just for the little bit of eye color that we are going to work with and i'm going to go in with my my laura mercier translucent setting powder and this is in color translucent and we're just going to pat that right under the eye 
If you're struggling with your makeup not lasting all day, you definitely want to invest in a nice setting powder. Um, I like the Laura Mercier, but there are a lot of different setting powders. You want to set that base. You want to make sure your foundation and your concealer is set so it sets and it lasts all day versus, you know, you kind of just letting areas just kind of sit with the makeup it will leave the makeup will leave so by setting your face you are ensuring a nice matte look and it will last all day so even if you do have a little bit of oils that seep through it's not going to disturb your makeup where your makeup it, it, it left the building it left the group chat all right so next up we're gonna work on my eyebrows we're gonna give these girls something 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 because something is missing so come on benaki benaki come a little closer uh, don't mind my hair but let's go ahead and snatch these brows Alrighty guys, so I look completely different. I did go ahead and do my eyes off camera. I did my bottom lashes and my lashes. Um, if you guys want to see how I did uh, do this eye look, there will be a tutorial on this so you guys can see how I did that. But let's go ahead and finish up with the face. I'm going to go ahead and take this brown eyeshadow. Um, this is from the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. So I'm just going to take a little bit of it and I'm not going to put too much because it is dark for me at least. So I'm just gonna pat this uh, around just a little bit, not too much. And we're just gonna blend that out. Like I told y'all, I know my lace looked in. Just, just give me a break, bro. My freaking concealer, I'm just kidding. Just give me a break, y'all. I'm gonna fix my lace later. But um, let's go ahead and blend. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this contour. I love just adding color back into the face. It really does just pull everything back together. That's pretty much what we do. Next up, um, I am gonna go ahead with some blush. Now, if you guys watch my channel, you guys know I like to use like liquid lipstick for blush, but we're trying to stay matte. We're trying to make sure we last all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a powdered blush. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this deep color here. This is a Ruby Kiss. Um, this is actually a Nika K blush palette. I'm gonna take that deep color right there and we're just gonna put that for our blush today. And like I said, when you use more powders, it just lasts longer um, versus using um, like, you know, creams and stuff like that. Next up, what we're gonna do, we're pretty much done with the face. We just have to highlight and we have to put some lipstick on. Excuse my makeup hand. But yeah, let's go ahead and we're gonna use our Urban Decay Ultra Matte Setting Spray. You wanna get a mattifying setting spray because that's how your makeup's gonna last and that's how you're gonna control the, that oil. So. Um, I'm gonna take a different highlight today. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. highlighter. We're gonna use this e.l.f. highlighter today. Just something different. Alrighty guys, so I did go ahead and take my hair out on camera. So this is the complete look. Alright guys, so what I'm gonna do today is it is currently 4.05 right now. So I'm gonna wear this makeup for eight hours. The reason why I chose eight hours is because that's typically a work shift. So I'm gonna wear this makeup for eight hours and I'm gonna come back later today and we're gonna see how this makeup holds up. We're gonna see if this makeup actually lasts. I know it's gonna last, but I'm gonna come back later tonight and I'm gonna show you guys what this makeup looks like to prove to you guys that this is how you can make your makeup last all day long if you have oily skin this is going to make sure your skin doesn't get oily i got you you got me we got this let's do it okay so i'm going to be back what time will it be eight hours from now it's tomorrow 
and 12.06 a.m. So it's going to be 12.06 a.m. when I come back and we are going to see what this makeup is looking like. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys then. So be right back. All right, my love, so it's actually 3.05. I was supposed to check in at 12.06, but I got busy. I'm actually getting ready for Carnival. Um, if you don't know what Miami Carnival is, it's just like um, all island people getting together, celebrating. You guys can still see the makeup. You guys still see the makeup on my face. Face is still there. It definitely dulled down a little bit, but it's still giving makeup it's still giving glam and it's still not giving like too natural obviously over time it is going to dull down but yeah that's pretty much it for this video i definitely wanted to show you guys that this makeup is matte and it will last you way longer so i love you guys so much and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye guys